Hey, this is Urban Dub. I'm going to talk you through how I made this patch. It's taken from my serum jump up pack. It's called BA Womp. Uh, let's have a listen to it. So as you can hear, it's a very weighty patch. To be fair, this patch isn't the hardest patch to make, but tonally, it's very effective. First of all, let's start off with just turning everything off and just using one oscillator. Before we go any further, let's have a look at the envelope. The attack's on 0.5, hold is on 0.0, the decay's on 408 milliseconds, the sustain is bypassed, and the release is on 119 milliseconds. So it's shaping the sound, just essentially the length of it. Let's look, go back to the oscillator. So what we have here is a basic wave table. It's from analog, sort, rounded to square. Let's have a look at LFO2. I've set it up to adjust the level. The LFO is on envelope mode, BPM synced on and anchored, and it's set to 1.8. So I've dragged it onto the level, it's on 93%. It's just shaping the sound. Let's look, go back to the oscillator and look at what I've done. So the unison spreads on two, the detune's in the middle, 0.25, blends on 67, phase is bang in the middle at 180, random's all the way down, the wavetable positions all the way to the right, so we're just using the square part of this wavetable. So this section's set up to use FM synthesis from oscillator B. So let's turn oscillator B on. So we're just using a basic saw wavetable, I've pitched the oscillator up by two octaves. The wavetable position is static, unison is on one, detunes are relevant, so is the blend, so is the phase, random is set to zero, and I have set a sync up here, but that's to do with a macro, which we'll talk about towards the end of this. So now oscillator B is active, the FM synthesis will start to happen. So what else I've done is taken LFO1 and I've dragged it to the FM. So let's turn that on. On LFO1, I've set it up on a quarter note, in envelope mode, beat synced and anchored. And you get that kind of like cool movement. It really does add to the sound. Now we've covered the synth side of things, let's look at the effects. So what I've got here is three different effects. Let's start with the first one, which is the distortion. So I've used diode. The drive's at 39% and the mix is full. Turn it off. And then below it is a compressor. Let's turn that on. Let's look at the settings. Threshold is on 17.1. Ratio is all the way to the right, which is set into limiting mode. Attacks on 0.9 milliseconds. Release is on 90 milliseconds. And the gain is on 13.8. And then the mix is on full. I created these settings by ear, uh, feel free to adjust them. So then I've added some reverb, let's turn it on. It's very subtle, but I have assigned it to a macro, which we'll talk about now. So on the left hand side of Serum, you have your macros, and I've assigned these to different parameters across the synth. For instance, macro one is on reverb, it's on the mix. I set up a sync here on oscillator B, and then assign the macro to that. So it can adjust the sound quite quickly. You have this one here, which says sub, which can add more sub to the sound. And then you've got compressor here as well, which is essentially making the sound louder. Let's quickly look at the effect. And that's just a sign to the mix. So yeah, that's about it really. It's, it's quite a basic patch, um, but very effective. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And yeah, hit the subscribe button as well. I'm going to keep doing videos like this. All right, wicked, cool.